So failed former president and syphilitic shoe salesman Donald Trump has been making the rounds on his 2024 Lila Palooza disinformation tour and recently delivered a pretty devastating message to his base. Now, if you're a MAGA supporter, you'll need to listen very carefully, which you apparently have a hard time doing because, well, I hate to tell you, but you're an idiot. Now, don't take it from me. This comes straight from the commander in thief's mouth. We're going to give you six things. They say, what were those six things? That there aren't too many people. And I get, they laughed. Everyone said, oh, oh that's so easy. There's only about uh, 2% of this room can do it, but I did it. That's right. The convicted sexual abuser broke the bombshell news in Nevada that 98% of his MAGA supporters are brain dead morons. Now, I know what you're thinking. Come on, John. 98%? Isn't that a little low? But we have to take his word for it because as his disciples say, He never lied to the American people. Um, he always told us the truth. And, and every, he was the first president to ever be honest. Well, figurative t-shirt lady, you're wrong. He lies now more than ever. And with literally the most important election in our country's history only eight months away, I did what any good Robert Reich fan would do. Don't let Trump's lies become near truths. Report Trump's lies as lies. So I sat through over an hour and a half of Trump's latest crooked Joe, radical left, deranged Jack Smith, Groundhog Day never ending loop of lies. And since we don't have time to expose all of his whining, this is more of a Trump cry light reel. And if you like my show, please like and subscribe. And if you can afford to, throw a buck or two in my virtual tip jar so I can afford to keep doing this show and hopefully pay somebody else to record his freak show rallies. MAGA? Pay attention. Joe Biden is causing America's decline. He's causing it. Who the hell would allow people to pour into our country? Who would allow this to happen? Former President Trump has indicated to senators that uh, he does not want us to solve the problem at the border. Uh, he wants to lay the blame for the border at Biden. Uh, and the idea that that someone running for president would say, please hurt the country so I can blame my opponent and help my politics is a... Uh, uh, a shocking uh, uh, development. The reality is that, that uh, we have a crisis at the border. The American people are suffering as a result of uh, what's happening at the border. Uh, and someone running for president ought to try and get the, uh, you know, the problem solved as opposed to saying, hey, save that problem. Don't solve it. Uh, let me take credit for solving it later. We built 561 miles of wall. We we're ready to put up another 200, way over what I projected and said, 561 miles? You must be thinking of your latest square footage estimate of your New York City condo because the U.S. Customs and Border Protection says you repaired 452 miles of existing wall, the vast majority of which was built by presidents before you. You built 47 miles of new wall and 33 miles of a secondary wall to reinforce the initial barrier. Now, granted, I know this might be semantics, but you were the one chanting, build that wall, not fix that wall. You probably could have built more if Steve Baden hadn't stolen the money your patriots donated. Good thing you pardoned him, but not for long. Oh, you'll like this even more. Guess who built more wall than you? Barack Obama. A hundred miles of new border wall during his administration. That's way more than you, Donald. Obama, you. One of the presidents of a big country stood up and said, well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, Will you protect us? I said, no, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You got to pay. You got to pay your bills. The Trump campaign owes nearly $570,000 to El Paso, Texas, and more than $80,000 in Tucson, Arizona. That tab has been lingering unpaid since March 2016. Spokane, Washington, Mesa, Arizona, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Billings, Montana, Erie, Pennsylvania, Lebanon, Ohio, Green Bay, Wisconsin, Burlington, Vermont. Minneapolis, Minnesota. Then we cannot forget Washington, D.C. Trump owes the district a whopping $9 million in unpaid fees. You gotta pay. You gotta pay your bills. Liar! Liar! China was afraid of Donald Trump. Russia was afraid. Remember when I stopped their pipeline, Nord Stream 2? I stopped it. I said, it's over. We're not gonna do it. You're not gonna have a pipeline going all through Europe. And I stopped it. And it was done. And Biden came in, he approved it, like, like, so crazy. No, you're crazy. The Nord Stream 2 wasn't completed until 2021. And after Russia invaded Ukraine in 2022, it was Germany's energy regulators who withdrew permission for the pipeline to go into service. 
In fact, at a joint news conference with German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, President Joe Biden said, if Russia invades Ukraine again, there will no longer be a Nord Stream 2. We will bring an end to it. And you're also a liar. You didn't stop a pipeline from going all through Europe because they already had a pipeline going all through Europe. The first Nord Stream pipeline also ran from Russia to Germany and was completed back in 2011. You probably forgot because that was the year you were being traumatized by Barack Obama at the White House Correspondents' Dinner. No one is prouder to put this birth certificate matter to rest than the Donald. And that's because he can finally get back to focusing on the issues that matter. Like, did we fake the moon landing? Obviously, we all know about your credentials and breadth of experience. Um. We crushed crooked Joe Biden's disastrous open borders bill. Yet another horrific Biden betrayal, or by sometimes I'll interchange, I'll say by Barack Hussein Obama. Barack Hussein. I think Barack Obama has a lot to do with running the country right now, and we can't let that happen. He has a lot to do with it. Wow, sounds like someone's still a little butthurt. And I wouldn't bring up Obama in the border because according to Immigration and Customs Enforcement, Obama reduced illegal immigration way more than you. In fact, both Presidents Obama and Bush Jr. removed far more criminal and non-criminal illegal immigrants than you ever did. And many of the criminal offenders had only committed immigration crimes. You can tell by looking at this chart. See these long, thick, masculine graphs? That's Obama. And this stubby little mushroom-shaped graph? <laughs> That's you. Remember when Biden used to say, well, I'd like to take him behind the barn and punch him. <laughs> now, if I said I'd punch him in the face, he'd go down like a ton of lard. Remember that expression? A ton of lard. No, I don't remember the term because it doesn't exist. You're thinking of a ton of bricks. Ton of Lard is the nickname Melania uses for you when she's banging Secret Service agents. He willfully stole gigantic numbers of classified documents, stuffing them in his drawers, stashing them in crumpled boxes. And those boxes were heavily used. You know, when you look at those boxes, those suckers were in and out. A lot of people saw those documents. They didn't see the ones we had. We had them locked up and we had Secret Service all the time. Isn't that amazing? This totally wins my case, you know. Mm -hmm. Except it is like highly confidential yeah. <laughs> secret. This is secret information. Yeah. But look, look at this. Isn't that incredible? Though? Yeah. I was just saying because we were talking about it, <laughs> and you know, he said he wanted to attack Iran and what. Yeah, He's in the papers. Wow. This was done by the military, given to me. Uh, I think we can probably. Right? I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. Yeah, we'll have to try to. Declassify. Figure out a, a, yeah. See, as president, I could have declassified. Yeah. Now I can't. Now I can't. Now I can't. <laughs> Lindsay, Ted, Mitch, you guys must be so proud. This is the guy you've sold your souls to to burn your party to the ground. A guy who never lies, always tells the truth. A man who embodies all the God-fearing Christian family values you hold dear. You should go to one of his rallies with your parents or grandkids and listen to his vision for America. Here, I'll save you a trip. All right, thank you very much. Just a little interlude. So am I getting this right? You want to ban our books because they might upset your little snowflake spawn because they have dirty words. But you're perfectly fine sitting in an arena full of women and children and the elderly enchanting Joe Biden. And you think we're just going to sit here and take it? Look, if none of this has convinced you about how brainwashed and indoctrinated you are, I dare you to sit through this. But we never had a terrorist attack during the four years that I was president. And we won't again. We won't again. We need to hold the doors of the Capitol. Our great police officers, they, don't not, they do not get treated with the kind of respect that they should get. <laughs> I need court support. We have to support our police. Our police know everything that has to be done. We lost a lot. 
We lost the line. All of the knees came back. All of the knees came back up to the upper deck. All of the knees came back to the upper deck. We're not going to allow anything bad to happen to them again. The former president also describing his supporters who attacked the Capitol on that day, which left five people dead, this way. They were there with love in their heart. That was an unbelievable and it was a beautiful day. We're going to try to get compliance, but this is now effectively a riot. 49 hours declaring it a riot. And if I win, we will treat those people from January 6th fairly. We will treat them fairly. And if it requires pardons, we will give them pardons because they are being treated so unfairly. They were peaceful people. These were great people. The crowd was unbelievable. And I mentioned the word love, the love. The love in the air. I've never seen anything like it. Look at what's happened with the J6 hostages. The hostages. That's a horrible thing. So listen, MAGA. Tonight, when you get ready for bed and brush your tooth, look yourself in the mirror. Look yourself in the eye and tell yourself, Donald Trump doesn't lie. He's smart. He's a Christian. He wants to close the border. He supports the police. And he's just the kind of man I want my kids to grow up to admire. And if you can do that, then Trump's finally telling the truth about something. You are as stupid as he says.